as a company, Vonik has been in South Africa for more than 50 years now. We use uh, South Africa as export hub for Sub-Saharan Africa. Some of our products are manufactured in South Africa, for, let's say like hydroperoxide and plexiglass and in Johannesburg. In South Africa we have pretty good infrastructure and we have a very good setup. So the ease of doing business with Europe is there and uh, being in the same time zone makes it easy to do business here. What makes South Africa so distinctly different from any other country in, in Africa specifically, we've got actually a very well established and sophisticated industry. and We've actually evolved and it was largely because of the innovation which is really the spirit of South African business. The type of researches that are actually currently happening are relevant to the continent, but they are actually very uh, uh, cutting edge. Why we choose to be in Durban, there are two things. One was the harbour. The other thing is we have infrastructure. If it comes uh, back to raw materials like um, gases, steam, water supply and electricity, here it's very well maintained and the raw materials are available. Of course, uh, if the exchange rate uh, gets weaker uh, and most of our products uh, are imported from uh, Europe or from North America, so our products getting more expensive in South Africa. On the other hand, we have two production facilities in South Africa and as long as the rent is getting weaker, we have um, a nice benefit here. So for us it's like a mixture, importing most of the products, but on the other hand also producing uh, products in South Africa and it helps us a lot. And one of the biggest challenges that we have, like most companies, uh, moving into Sub-Saharan Africa is to deal with each country uh, relative to its own dynamics. And each country has its, got, got its own political framework, it's got its own socio-political uh, uh, challenges. We're also dealing with markets that, that generally are not as sophisticated as some of the technologies that we have. We, we have a clear strategy to align ourselves to megatrends. One of the global megatrends, and specifically for Africa, is resource efficiency. So we're talking about energy. So when you talk about sustainable energy, renewable energy, anything from wind energy, solar energy, biogas, biofuel, we have technologies in all of those spaces. And we're actively involved with that. And so that is really our contribution towards sustainability. And we have some programs with our local customers here, especially with one big customer. Together we have a sustainability project where we um, use the gases which are created in their production to purify them and to use them to run their fleet, the cars and so on and so on. South Africa, since 94, we've changed. We are, we are a new democracy. There's been a lot of new developments in terms of, of regulation. And certain of these regulations, a business person coming into South Africa needs to be cognizant of. And I talk of things like black empowerment, skills transfer, uh, corporate social responsibility. If somebody from Germany has the intention to set up a production facility here, he should approach also the government, because the government at the moment is uh, willing to give some subsidies to foreign companies who set up a production facility in South Africa. And there are, in the meantime, some industrial development zones, like one where we are here now in, in Durban, to attract more foreigners to build facilities there. Weather, the people, the smiles, everybody tends to have a bit more time for colleagues, for friends. Um, it's just a an easier way of, of working. I enjoyed working with the Germans. They've got a good sense of humour, as South Africans have, so we get on well with each other. They enjoy coming here and I enjoy going there.